So here's my take on that classic game called Rush Hour, and I've turned it into a Lego puzzle. So how do we play this game? Well, no doubt you've probably seen it. You may even have a mobile app. So let's go ahead and solve this puzzle. You can only move the pieces in the direction that they're facing. So let's have a look and see if we can work this out. We need to get this ambulance guy out of the traffic jam. So let's see how we can do this. He can't move forward, so we have to get this one out of the way first. So let's just move this guy out of the way. Now we can move this guy down, and we're almost there. So let's just drive this ambulance out. Oh, now we're stuck. Now we have to move this down here. So that seems easy enough. Let's just move that. No, we're still stuck. Now this is where it gets a little bit interesting. We have to try and figure out how to do this. So we'll actually put that up there. And we'll pop this one back up there. This one can go over to here. This one down here. Oh, now we need to move this guy back because actually we want to get this guy up here, this one across, and now we've opened up that. So we're getting closer, I think. I think we need to move this out of the way, like that, and then we can move the green one, and now the ambulance gets to drive on out. Wow. That was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but we got there in the end. If you want to make your own Lego Rush Hour game, then let's do this. Okay, so I'm not actually sure how many pieces you need, but I've made eight different cars. Uh, there's, they're different sizes, and uh, there's two basic sizes. There's the two module and the three module size. So these are more like trucks. There's a little ute. Uh, that's just a pink car, maybe a minivan. And I've just created them in different formats. So let's have a look at the different configurations. It's an 8x16 base plate, and I've got two of those together. Then I'm just using 2x4 bricks, or 2x6 in this case, and we're popping those on like that. Now, the thing with the game is that you need to have an exit point. So we don't put that in the middle. We often put that on the offset. So now we want to have a mechanism for these cars to be able to slide. So rather than make them three wide and have a tile missing in the middle, I found we can do something with these 1x2 panel plates. So let's have a look and see how this one's created. Okay, so this is how you construct one of the pieces. It's just a 2x4 plate, and we use these 1x2 panels on the side. So what you'll see is that that actually slides just nicely on the outside of a stud. But now we need something to put on top. So we use one of these inverted slope bricks and that's the studs on the bottom. And we can just pop that on top like that, and that gives us like a windscreen, which is pretty cool. Now we just need to put some blocks on the back, so we just tip them upside down. And now this is my ambulance, so I've just got some featured blocks here. But you can make them however you like. And I'm just gonna put a red and blue light on top. So that's the car that you need to get out of the traffic jam. So we'll pop that down there, like that. Now, let's go ahead and see how we've created some of these other ones. This one here is just using some 1x2 slopes, inverted slopes, and I'll pop those on top, and I've just used some 1x1s on the back to create a different look. This one here, I've just used some Technic bricks, 1x4 with holes, and it looks like a pretty cool truck. It could also be a bus. This blue one here is just the basic 1x2 inverted bricks, and we're just using a 2x2 two two brick. This one's very similar, except it's a 2x2 it's a two two inverted. And here we've got a couple of 1x2 inverteds with 1x4 bricks. Now for the ute, I just did the basic base plate and I used the 2x2 two two jumper plate and just pop that on like that. So a utility. And this one's a bit more like a sports car because it's got a, quite a slopey front here. And this one is a very long sort of sports car looking thing. 
Uh, I didn't even realize I've actually got something stuck in there. So that's the basic figures and uh, that's the basic game. So let's go ahead and put these on. Now normally you want this large one to be somewhere in the way because that way you have to move it to at least one side. If it goes to that side they're not going to be able to get out. So you don't want anything in, in the path like that because you won't be able to move them out. You're not allowed to move these out of the playing field. Well, I don't think you are anyway. Now we want to stop them from actually going anywhere so we can just pop them in like that. And we'll just create one here and we'll pop one here perhaps. All right, looks like we're almost done. So, and we'll just pop one in here. And one more in here. So this is another Lego Rush Hour traffic jam to solve. Can you solve it? Okay, here's the spoiler. Let's see if we can try and figure this out. So we need to get the ambulance through here again. But we can't move this guy out of the way because he's in the way. So let's move him to start with. And then we'll just push him up like that. Okay, so now we can get out to here, which is pretty good. We might be able to move this one up here, and now we can get through there, but we still can't get through here. So this one's quite simple. We just need to push him out the way, move him back there, and then the ambulance can move all the way out. Pretty cool, hey? And the best thing is, you can make your own Rush Hour games. Now, these are all standard Rush Hour sizes. So if you had the Rush Hour app, then you could actually just use the different configurations and solve them on your own Lego Rush Hour puzzle. So go ahead and make your own Lego Rush Hour game. It's pretty cool. And playing this traffic jam game can be hours of fun. Until next time, please subscribe and bye for now.